I want to share some words of encouragement today from Psalm 4. The whole psalm is wonderful and helpful, both in God's instructions and in God's reassurance. The focus, though, today will come from the last verse of Psalm 4. It begins, Answer me when I call, O God of my right. You gave me room when I was in distress. Be gracious to me and hear my prayer. What does this mean, O God of my right? Right has the same root word as um, righteous or righteousness. We cry out to God who knows what is truly right and righteous. And we pray for God's grace as we trust God to hear. We pray often for what we think is right, knowing that we only know a bit of what God knows to be true and right. How long, O people, shall my honor suffer shame? How long will you love vain words and seek after lives? One of those forever problems of humanity is that we cling to words that reinforce our previous point of view. We need to seek God with the humility that always prays, If I am wrong, if my perspective is false, O God, do what is true instead. But know that the Lord has set apart the faithful for himself. The Lord knows, hears when I call him. Uh, we yearn to be among the faithful, set apart for God. Let our hearts be true, O God, even as you change our hearts, even as you grow our minds and change our current actions. When you are disturbed, do not sin. Ponder it on your beds and be silent. I love this call to do the right thing, to avoid evil, to avoid all shortcuts that lead us away from God. Offer right sacrifices and put your trust in the Lord. There are many who say, oh, that we might see some good. Let the light of your face shine on us, O God. You have put gladness in my heart more than when their grain and new wine abound. Okay, now hear this last verse. It's one of the most genuinely helpful verses for me, uh, for our peace, for our calm minds, and for our steady hearts. And I would almost like to say that uh, I meditate on this often, but meditate is such an active word, and what I do is I, I find this scripture often. And I receive it often, and it helps me often. I will both lie down and sleep in peace. For you alone, O Lord, make me to lie down in safety. Again, I will both lie down and sleep in peace. For you alone, O Lord, make me to lie down in safety. That's helped me so many times. Psalm 4, 9, I will both lie down and sleep in peace. For you alone, O Lord, make me lie down in safety. When I am anxious, this is what I need to hear. This is the ground of comfort because of who God is. I can afford to lie down and to sleep. Because of who God is, I can lie down in safety. Now, I know that I live in a relatively safe place. Uh, there is no war in the place where I dwell. But there is so much that threatens us, from pandemic to drug overdoses, from accident and human cruelty. And I cannot forget the very real threats that war and famine bring uh, to people throughout the world. Only God is big enough to trust for the biggest issues of life and of death and of eternal life. I will both lie down and sleep in peace. For you alone, O Lord, make me lie down in safety. Amen.